I am Brittany Decker, Miss Connecticut 2010. And it all began with a dream. With the support, determination, and growth, that dream went live on ABC at the 90th anniversary Miss America pageant. 12 to 14,000 women compete each year, and I was blessed to be one of 53 women to have that opportunity. From the home of the women's national basketball champions, I'm from the state where girls rule. I am Brittany Decker, Miss Connecticut. I am Brittany Decker, Miss Connecticut. But the legacy I hope to leave is a dedication and time devoted to about 300 appearances around the state and the individual lives I've touched on a daily basis. I was still, I was very shy. And then I walked up to you and you were just so nice and outgoing and very happy to see me and meet me. And with the support of many this year, I was able to spend time with the children at the orphanage in Haiti Inspire Canterbury Elementary School to raise $1,000 to send to the children there, send $5,000 worth of Crocs shoes during Christmas time, and most importantly, share my message here that kids are kids everywhere, no matter where you're from. Even though they had like no clothes and like no shelter and like they had to stay in an orphanage with no parents, like they were just happy that they have the littlest thing. Like you said, he brought this boy some shoes and it, like, it was like he gave him a million bucks. Being Miss Connecticut is about sharing opportunities. I thought I was dreaming when Brittany asked me to come to Miss America pageant. I said, pinch, pinch me to my mom. Me and Brittany Decker were in the parade, Miss America shoe parade. She introduced me to someone from Miss America Testins. And as a bonus, I went to cheer on Logan at the outstanding teen pageant in Orlando. And I was an honored guest at the main invitational the Miss America homecoming in Nebraska, and the trip to Washington, D.C. with my Miss America sisters. And the message from my day of confidence was definitely understood. The thing that you want to make, like your dreams don't stop at one, pop, one spot. So that's what I really took away from it, and it impacted me a lot. I, now that's my motto. Huh? You just have confidence in yourself always. Be positive and opt optimistic. Dick. One of the mottos that um, my school follows is WWJD, what would Jesus do? And I would always think to myself when there was an appearance where I'd have to be outgoing or talk to people, I'd think, okay, WWBD, what would Brittany do? And Connecticut Children's Medical Center will always hold a huge place in my heart. Brittany was doing her, her normal monthly visit and there was, um, there was a patient up on the Hemat floor and it was, it was doing a, like a treasure hunt and a mustache contest. And as soon as she heard about it, she jumped right in and she was like, I'm in, let's go. And the kid was so excited to have, to have Miss Connecticut right there with him. I... So to all of the contestants and my successor, the ability you have to make an impact is more powerful than you could ever imagine. From the bottom of my heart, Thank you to the Miss Connecticut Board, volunteers, sponsors, my professors, friends, supporters, and the entire state of Connecticut. And a special thank you to the Preet family, Gail McCool, and my amazing family. I'm excited to see what's going to come in the next chapter of my life. But just so you know, I will always be an advocate for the Miss America organization. And I will always be Brittany Decker, Miss Connecticut 2010.